Judging from the 2008 aid statistics, the St. Lucia aid story is a good one. That is due in part to the provision of free antiretroviral drugs to fight the disease. It is also owed to more education and testing about HIV and AIDS. The director of the National AIDS Program Secretariat says St. Lucia recorded 54 new AIDS cases in 2008. Neham Jabati says the country has a total of 711 recorded AIDS cases. Now these 54 cases, uh, we had 56 the year before and then 53 um, in 2006. But since uh, 2005, when we increased our surveillance, when we saw 78 cases, we have also increased testing. Um, we have done a lot of outreach testing in addition to the um, regular testing that we do. And we still have not seen uh, a, a dramatic increase in the, the actual prevalence or the actual incidence of the disease. I Meaning when we take the population into consideration with the number of new cases, we are still seeing that we, we have a reduction in incidence. Assistance from the World Bank and the Global Fund has guaranteed the provision of free antiretroviral drugs to AIDS sufferers. This assistance is expected to continue for another year and a half. Shabati says 174 people, 60% of people living with AIDS, are currently on medication. Once you get on the antiretroviral drugs, your immune system will, will no longer be compromised and you will not be dying from the, from the opportunistic infections. You see, um, what happens because the, it, it is the, opportunistic the opportunistic infection which actually kills persons and not the AIDS, not the disease itself. And, and so the drugs boost up your immune system and therefore um, uh, prevents th those opportunistic infections from, from, from attacking and killing you. St. Lucia recorded six AIDS deaths in 2008, up from two in 2007. Shabati says those who died were not taking antiretroviral medication. He made a special appeal to people living with the disease. The NAPS director says if you are infected, get help and the medication. They can save your life. We still want to appeal to the public out there, to HIV positive persons, to try to come early. Uh, to, to get enrolled into care because uh, those cases, all of those cases, they, they got into contact with us when it was much too late and their immune system was already comprom compromised and that's why they, they succumbed to the disease. But we only saw eight deaths over the last two years compared to figures like 18 a year and, and 20 a year and 15 in a, a year. So, so this is another, another, another plus for us. Shabatis also made an appeal to young people. He says 12% of the more than 700 recorded AIDS cases are people aged 15 to 24. And although the numbers are smaller than other groups like people aged 25 to 49, it is a strata worthy of a careful look because the youth are the future. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.